Hello everyone, welcome back. Now we are ready to write the very first shell script. So let's begin the session. This session is going to be very useful and informative. What is a shell script? I have already written here on the screen. A shell script is a program written in shell programming. Right? So shell programming is a very powerful programming like any other programming like C, Java or C++. This is or you can say the shell scripts are typically we write to control or automate some of the tasks in the system. Right? So if some repetitive task we need to perform or we need to do some controlling kind of task if you want to terminate some of the processes by let's say 12 o'clock or some of the things we want to create automatically 100 users or etc etc then better to write a shell script so let's begin with how to write a shell script when you want to write a shell script you can follow these simple steps so in order to write a shell script you need to prepare a file and a file you can prepare in any of the text editor so let's say you can use vi editor or emac or nano or any other editor gui based editors also you can use so no no problem now after opening the text editor the next step is you need to write the very first line that we consider as shebang line so in shebang line actually you mention the interpreter or shell which will be utilized to execute the prepared shell script so what is the shebang line it look like this there is like we write hash then bang sign slash bin slash bash so in the beginning of every shell script we try to write this line if you don't want to use the bash terminal or bash shell to execute your script you can use other shells also like sh or ksh or zsh right so that you can decide but in the ne very next line after this shebang line you start writing your actual commands so here you write the commands so let's say if you want to print a message you use like echo command or if you want to take some input from the user you use read command etc etc and number of other commands are there right so that you can write then each command we try to write in the new line we do not collaborate the command in a single line so that the script should be looking good and it should be easily understandable by the things otherwise you can write the commands in a single line also by separating them with semicolons okay so later on we will see then after we prepared our first script whatever you want to write you have written that then you have to save the file so the saving feature will be dependent on the the text editor which you are using if you are using vi editor then you press escape call and wq if you are using emap or any other editor it depends upon that editor so you save that generally in uh, gui based editor we use control s option to save right once you have saved it then the next step you need to set the executable permission on your prepared shell script and once you have prepared with all these things like you have set the executable permission so if you want to set the executable permission you can use ch mode plus x command and after that you can write the file name like it is mentioned here and then finally you are ready to execute the prepared shell script like dot slash and then the file name whatever you have written so let's see the demo okay so this is my prompt and let's say i'm using vi editor you can use any editor as i'm mentioning so i'm using vi editor here after typing vi one space and then you can give your file name so let's say i'm saying script okay so this is my script one 
so i am writing script one dot sh better to give an extension when you are preparing a shell script so that when you use ls command or any other command by looking at the name you can understand this is a file which is having the shell script right so dot sh extension generally we use to store the shell script now hit enter now you this is the screen you are having in v editor v editor i will elaborate you in separate uh, session but right now you know that v editor has generally three modes so the default mode of the v editor is command mode so this is the command mode if you start typing it will not take your input so you need to switch in into the like insert mode so you press i whether capital i or small i you press i and then you can see in the bottom there is insert now it is a start accepting the your keys so the very first she bas line like hash bank sign bin slash bash this line is defining the interpreter for the script which we are preparing so when we execute that script it will be executing with this bash editor or interpreter not editor bash is an interpreter now you write so let's say the very first script you are writing you are saying let's say hello world okay now let's say i want to write only one line in this hello world now if you want to save your file in v editor you need to press escape once you press escape this insert which was displaying in the bottom it is gone and now you press colon and then w and q w we write to for writing and q for quitting so i want to write this content inside the file and i want to quit from this particular vi editor now i'll come back to my prompt so if i check ls script 1.sh file is available which i have prepared if i want to see the content of this script so i can check the content these two lines i have already saved so this is stored in this now if i execute i can type the path of that particular but remember right now i haven't set the executable permission on this right so because executable permission i haven't set on this script and if i try to execute it will display me some error kind of message okay a script i am running it is a script 1 right so it is displaying me an error permission denied because i haven't set any executable permission on this file so if i want to check the permissions on this file i can use a script 1.sh with hyphen l option i can check what are the permissions are available on this file so let's see it now the permissions which is available read write executable permission for user is not available read write permission available for other users group users executable is not there for other users it is only read no write and no execute okay so if you want to update like executable permission you want to set as i have mentioned in this step you can use ch mode command change mode command or ch mode command and you can use plus x you want to add plus x or executable permission for user groups and others and then the file name so let's say you are having a script 1.sh once you hit enter and if you type your ls minus l command again you set you check it this x or executable permission for users this x is set for groups and this x means executable permission set for other users now if you type the same command which you were typing earlier the path or you can say dot slash the script dot sh now this file is having executable permission and your script will run so now you are getting hello world right there are other ways also rather than dot slash this script you can give the complete path so what is your present working directory you are in home slash student root home student so rather than dot slash script you can instead of writing this dot you can give the complete path because this dot is the relative path relative dot represent in linux present working directory double dot represent in linux parent directory okay 
डॉट मीन्स करेंट डायरेक्टरी और प्रेजेंट वर्किंग डायरेक्टरी डबल डॉट मीन्स पेन एंड डायरेक्टरी सो इफ आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू पास दी रिलेटिव पाथ देन आई कैन गिव दी कंप्लीट पाथ सो रूट देन होम देन स्टूडेंट स्लेस स्क्रिप्ट राइट सो स्क्रिप्ट इज अवेलेबल ऑन दिस पाथ इफ यू हिट एंटर द स्क्रिप्ट विल रन राइट so one thing you can write a relative path dot slash then the script name another you can keep the absolute path of your script if you want to run this script without uh, let's say if i type script one dot sh and if i want to run it without giving any path just typing by the name if you run it it will not execute like it will say command not found so as i already told you in path variable there are certain paths are stored so these are the paths if you copy your script on any of these path let's say home student and bin there is one bin if you copy this here right so i am copying this using cp i am copying the file to that location okay so let's say i am using the file script वन डॉट एस एच एन आई एम कॉपिंग इट स्लेस होम स्लेस स्टूडेंट स्लेस बिन लेट से राइट और आई कैन इंक्लूड एट इन साइड दिस रूट बिन सो लेट से आई एम इंक्लूडिंग इट हेयर एट रूट बिन ओके राधर दैन स्टूडेंट बिन आई एम इंक्लूडिंग इन रूट बिन सो आई एम जस्ट कॉपिंग दिस स्क्रिप्ट डॉट एस एच हेयर it is saying cannot create regular file permission denied okay so because this bin directory stores the binary files it is saying you cannot create it let me take the uh, root privileges with su and then try whether that is happening or not so su and my root password okay now i am copying my script वन डॉट एस एच टू रूट बिन नाउ इट इज पॉपिट सो इफ आई चेक दिस पाथ रूट बिन एन आई एम चेकिंग स्क्रिप्ट डॉट एस एच सो यू चेक इट दिस फाइल इज अवेलेबल हेयर लेट मी स्क्रॉल यू दी आउटपुट you can check this A script file is available here in slash bin or root bin directory okay so if you scroll it you will find out that file in this directory because we have copied now it will come here so just a moment let me scroll up okay so this is a script 1.sh which i have copied now once it is copied let me clear the screen now i want to run that so i am exiting let's say from here and i want to run my script 1.sh now without giving any path anything this script 1.sh is executing as a command right so as i already told you commands are only a program you are preparing your script putting at a particular location and by typing the file name it is acting as a command right so this is the procedure to prepare a script you can write complex scripts this was the sample so i hope this is sufficient for this session thank you everyone from next session onward we will write the typical shell scripts Thank you. See you in the next class.